kalau pilih tim yang final nak lawan lagi sekali kita orang akan pilih RRQ lah sebab malam ini. Saya nampak Hazim tadi bernuh dengan kelegaan masukan todak mereka berjaya untuk meneruskan misi perjuangan untuk membanggakan Malaysia di peringkat M3 ketika ini syukur dan juga syabas perlu diucapkan kepada pasukan todak ketika ini. Ya syukur Alhamdulillah harus kita ucapkan terima kasih Chico terima kasih Mon, terima kasih Yum, terima kasih Mom dan juga tidak dilupakan kepada sang naga hitam daripada Malaysia kita iaitu Formel percaya untuk mendapatkan mata kemenangan buat pasukan Malaysia lambaian daripada wira-wira negara kita ini sangat-sangat bergembira dan saya pasti jutaan rakyat Malaysia boleh menghembuskan nafas lega kerana kita masih lagi hidup kita masih lagi meneruskan hashtag lower bracket Meta Hashtag Lower Bracket Meta Tapi perjalanan Todak selepas ini Masih lagi ada Untuk mereka membuktikan Yang mereka masih lagi mampu Untuk menghadapi pasukan Siapa yang ada di Grand Final Selepas ini saya mengharapkan Sekarang juga Me is I must Untuk Inti Tapi apa kata Kita nak dengarlah juga sekarang ini Untuk interview yang terakhir Sekarang juga Me is I must say, the most popular player from Todak, Chiku, congratulations. I have to mention that because all over Asia, when they hear your team's name, they think of you first, even in my country. So what does it feel that you're the most popular player in your country? Bagi saya, biasa je lah. Sebab, dia biasa. For the side of Chiku, he said that um, He's very humble about him being the most popular player around. He is very honored that people look up to him in that kind of way, but he will still do his normal things because he is Chiku. That's a very long translation for something so short. By the way, when I said, you're really popular, he goes, I know. <laughs> now, let's talk about how satisfied you are with your performance. What happened in game one and in game three, it could have been anybody's ball game. Okay, so tadi masa game nombor satu dengan game nombor tiga, basically dia tanya apa perasaan Chiku pasal performance team Todak sekarang, tapi game satu, game tiga hampir kena comeback, so macam mana perasaan korang? Uh, untuk game satu tu sebenarnya kita orang terlampau confident untuk lepaskan orang punya Povius. And diorang punya kunci kemulahan ialah dekat Povius tu sendiri lah. So bila kita orang band tu, diorang agak susah untuk bermain lah. Yeah, for game number one, they were being a little bit overconfident because they're like, let's test the waters. We're going to give them the Fovias and see if they can really do anything uh, with that hero. And apparently the Fovias was a big problem. So after they start banning that hero, they started getting that groove back. All right. Now, if we take a look at your season seven lineup, you guys changed roles. Now, with four maze being the... XP, Momo Gold, and you jungler. Why did you guys do that? And how good did it feel to have things change? Kenapa kita orang buat macam tu? Sebab itulah sebenarnya kekuatan Toda. Kita orang boleh letakkan kita orang di mana-mana saja and kita orang boleh main dengan benda tu. So, itulah. This is the strength of Toda. All of our players can play any kind of lane, any kind of role, and it keeps our opponents on their toes. So this is the strategy that we've been doing. So this is what we've been sticking to. Let's talk about other strength. What makes Todak so strong and different compared to the other teams here in M3? 
uh, perbezaan kita orang dengan tim lain sebabnya kita orang yalah sebab role tu betul-betul kan so tim lain setakat ni tak berani lagi nak tukar-tukar so setakat ni KM3 kita orang je yang selalu tukar-tukar role and benda tu menjadi ah Yeah, for a side of Team Toda, again, the strength that we have right now is our confidence to keep changing the roles, making our opponents guess, because it makes it very difficult in the pick and bands for them to target any particular players, because if, if we don't know what we're going to do, they don't know what we're going to do. You know, LaFell, I have to say, you're the most confident translator out there. Now, next round, you're going to be facing Navi. It'll be best of five, so it'll be different from what you've experienced today. What's your prediction there, and what do you think is going to happen with that? Are you going to have a hard time? Do you think it's going to be even? What's your prediction? Okay, so kejap lagi, korang akan lawan dengan Navi. Best of five. Apa prediction Chiku lawan dengan team Navi, and apa yang korang expect nak tengok daripada orang? Uh, prediction kita orang, team Toda, ialah kita orang menang. And base score, saya tak tahu berapa, tapi insya Allah kita orang kebaik terbaik lah untuk menang. Yeah, so basically what he said was, he knows that they're going to win. Toda is going to win. Mm. In terms of score, even he is not brave enough to say, like, I don't know what the score is. But for our fans and um, for everyone watching, they will keep trying their best. And they still have the confidence to win. And that's what they're going to do. Now, speaking of your confidence, if you were to choose who your opponent will be in the grand finals, what team would that be? Hello, Pile. Tim yang final nak lawan lagi sekali, kita orang akan pilih RRQ lah sebab Kalau kita orang masuk, eh kita orang masuk low final lagi, kita, insya Allah kita akan jumpa RRQ sekali lagi So kita orang nak revenge balik lah untuk M1, M3 ni lah Agak Dia jauh sikit lah sebab dulu pun 3-1 and sekarang pun 3-1 So insya Allah kita akan jumpa dolar balik lah nanti yeah, for the side of Toda, they really just want to fight against RRQ again because again that is a spectacular match, not just for them, but for the audience as well. But in terms of history, for a side of Toda, they have a rivalry against RRQ because the last time that they fought was during M1, and during that time, they also lost 3-1. to So in terms of score, it's the same. So if they get to face again, they want to win this time. Before we close things off, last message. Anybody you want to greet and let's invite the Malaysian fans to support you on your next round. Uh, untuk fans-fans dekat luar sana and terutamanya dekat Malaysia support kita orang even kita orang menang ataupun kalah first round kalah lagi mah kalah lagi maka balik so keep support kita insyaallah kita orang akan buat the best lah untuk M3 ni to all of the fan, to all the fans especially to the Malaysian fans we'll keep trying our best even though we lose game 1 keep confident that we will be able to win the other games because we always come back stronger and we hope that all of our fans keep on praying for for us for our safety and uh, we will try our best for M3 Chico congratulations to you and your team thank you so much good luck on your next round and Lafel thank you so much for such accurate translation with <laughs> Okay.